In this video, we will study all the relevant medical details regarding peptic ulcer illness. What is peptic ulcer? An open sore or raw spot on the stomach or small intestinal lining is known as a peptic ulcer. A duodenal ulcer is one that develops in the first portion of the small intestine, a gastric ulcer is one that develops in the stomach. Normal stomach and small intestinal lining can defend itself against high stomach acids, but if the lining tears, the consequence may be gastritis, which is characterized by swollen and inflamed tissue, or ulcers, which are characterized by an open sore. The stomach is the organ of the digestive system in which food travels from the esophagus and is further broken down before its nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine. Food is broken down into simpler components in the stomach by the production of different enzymes and acids. A mucus lining covers the inner wall of the stomach, shielding it from the acid and enzymes. The components that protect the stomach lining and the digestive juices produced by the stomach must work in harmony in order to prevent ulcers. The first layer of the inner lining is where most ulcers develop. A perforation is when the stomach or duodenum develops a hole. This situation is regarded as urgent care. What triggers a peptic ulcer? The Helicobacter pylori infection of the stomach is the most frequent cause of peptic ulcers. Most people with peptic ulcers have these bacteria living in their digestive system. Yet, many people who have these bacteria in their stomach do not develop an ulcer. Abuse of alcohol, smoking, stress, and regular use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines all increase your chance for developing peptic ulcers. A rare condition called Zollinger-Ellison syndrome causes stomach and duodenal ulcers. What are the symptoms of peptic ulcer? Small ulcers could go unnoticed for a while, some ulcers can result in significant bleeding. One typical sign is abdominal pain frequently in the upper mid-abdomen. Each person will experience this pain differently. Not everyone experiences suffering. The upper abdomen is the typical location of gastric ulcer discomfort, which typically occurs one to three hours after a meal, wakes you up at night, and occurs when your stomach feels empty. Other signs and symptoms include heartburn, chest pain, nausea, vomiting that may be bloody, weight loss, and black or bloody stools. How is a stomach ulcer diagnosed? An upper endoscopy, also known as an esophagogastroduodenoscopy, may be required to examine the lining of the esophagus, stomach, and first portion of the small intestine in order to identify a peptic ulcer. This procedure is done with an endoscope, a thin, flexible tube with a light and small video camera on the end. The tube is put in through your mouth, down your throat, and into your esophagus, stomach, and small intestine. Any peptic ulcer case requires testing for the H. pylori bacteria. A stool test, urea breath test, or an endoscopic stomach biopsy can all be used to determine this. In addition, blood tests for hemoglobin and occult blood in the stool are needed to examine for anemia and detect blood in the stool, respectively. Sometimes, you may need a test called gastrointestinal series. A series of x-rays is taken after you drink a thick substance called barium. This procedure is called barium swallow and is very useful when endoscopy is contraindicated. How is a stomach ulcer treated? If H. pylori bacteria are present, they must be eliminated. Utilizing medications like H2 blockers or proton pump inhibitors, will help you lower the amount of acid in your stomach. At least two months must pass while using these medications. You must give up bad habits like smoking, drinking, eating poorly, and using drugs without a doctor's prescription, if you want to respond to treatment better. If there is bleeding and this bleeding cannot stop with ordinary treatment, you may need endoscopy or surgical intervention. In the end, if you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. Goodbye!